Welcome back to another review, everyone. And we've got another classic Dr. David Norman book here. So this is an illustrated encyclopedia of dinosaurs, an original and compelling insight into the life in the dinosaur kingdom. And it's, you're going to see a lot of familiar artwork here, being from the 90s, and the artist being uh, John, John Sibic. So, yeah, very, uh, you're going to see artwork pretty common in the 90s in a lot of books and a few books that I had already reviewed from Dr. Norman and others having uh, Civics, John Civics, um, Palawa, his artwork. So, with that, no copyright intended, all artwork belong to the owners and I really like this um picture in the cover here with the um, pterosaurs and so forth so yeah John Sipic so this is 90 something what is it no this is 1985 actually 19, yeah 1980 1985, which is quite interesting. I made a mistake there. 1985. Excuse me. Right. So this is a pretty much in-depth book. Obviously, there's the same kind of introduction and artwork. Um, there are more slimmed down versions of this book and what I'm going to do in the future is put them all together all the Dr. David Norman books because I do have a few of them I remember it was a particular book that I owned which was to the similar um, style of this book but more slimmed down and more catered to children I remember this um you know the i guess the history of the earth and how life progressed and so forth all the different periods and i used to really like stare at it all the time because i actually met i was mesmerized by how it goes like as a like a, as in like a spring and then you get to like the day of modern man here with the building so i really like that that kind of graph so yeah, just your basic tectonics and so forth, and you know, history, you know, obviously we had the bone wars and so forth, and Charles Darwin, and etc, etc, etc. And again, this being from 1985, it's not going to be accurate anymore, it's going to be quite outdated, being over like 35 years old but obviously some of the core information doesn't change and we go for the different groups and yeah i'm not sure if i know that some species have gone into some groups and gone into other groups so anyway we'll take it as what it is when it was created in um or published in 1985 And yeah, you're not going to see any feathered dinosaurs here. This is before that I think they uh, discovered um, the bits and pieces of the Rizinosaurus. See, look, they're predicting. They were, they were very, very close. But it's Gallimimus I think they got there, so I think or other species anyway, so they weren't far off. And obviously creatures like Spinosaurus are gonna be inaccurate. And that's a famous um, picture, that one. And I always believed, like I looked at that, I go, geez, yeah, if there was no extinction, 
man would evolve to look like reptilian like that so yeah it's pretty funny like i saw that as a kid like in the 90s early 90s and then it wasn't until like not too long ago, people started showing like this picture. I guess as social media became bigger, the Unicus Plus Raptor. Yeah, these are all the exact pictures and that I had in the book that I had growing up. The only difference was it um, it didn't go into as much as depth as this and I do like these pictures here as they're hunting some of these black and white pictures are pretty cool and we get to carnosaurs and I always liked how it showed the size compared to a man so this is going to be a long review so we got spinosaurus there I'll try and be as quick as I can it's quite a thick book the Tyrannosaurus. So a lot of information. It's a it's a great book. And the artwork is amazing as well. And it all just blends in really, really good together. I like how they went from family to family and obviously you're going to see a lot of species that are not in this book like your Giganotosaurus and your Argentinosaurus and, and all those discoveries that they made in China with all the feathered Dinosaurs like Microraptor and all the other Spinosaurs that they discovered. I think Bionics might be in this book. But yeah, like times have changed. Look, we still got an upright walking Iguanodon. But looking back at all these pictures, talk dumb, get the thumb. Um, brings back a lot of memories. You got hadrosaurs being such a diverse group, it had to be in two sections with the different type of crests. We've come a long way, but looking back at these books, it's always fun to go back and see how you know how we thought, how everything was at the time, with the evidence that we had. And appreciate the artwork. Ceratopsians, this is where, where Centosaurus started taking the limelight away from Monoclonus. And this group of horned dinosaurs has become even more, more diverse now. So, yeah. Please comment below if you read this one back in the day, owned it, borrowed it, as I stated about a hundred times already, um, there's been so many different t versions of this book in different, um, I guess, different sizes, with less information, catered more towards kids. So one way or another, this format and this artwork is pretty was pretty common. Motosaurs. Always like that picture there. 
remember, oh, that would hurt with the effects there, you know, with the whack. I wonder if um, Walking with Dinosaurs copied that. And look, we get a bit of um, pterosaurs, some croco crocodiles. Is that Purosaurus? No, Protosuchus. So we even get some marine reptiles. We get a little bit of basic information about um, non dinosaurs and all that, even Dimetrodon makes it into the book. Controversies. <laughs> Warm or cold blooded. Yeah, there's lots of controversies out there. Eh? And some of them we've solved, which is quite good. And these museums, I wonder if all these museums are still around. I want to see what they've got here in Australia. Australian Museum, New South Wales, and Queensland. They don't have Victoria there. Anyway, I think that's just about it. And we still got the same picture in the inner cover. So, yeah, got a bit of a bio of Sibikia and Dr. David Norman. So yeah, a, a, good, a great book, a great encyclopedia. A lot of information there at the time this would have been quite an amazing book to own um i'm glad i got to reveal it here so please let me know if um yeah you read this one i'll see you all next time